What do all of these fragrances have in common? They clock out early like it's their last day of work and they don't care. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five of my go-to tips to making fragrances last longer. I'm the type of girl, I'm all about the subtle, sophisticated scents, but sometimes I feel like these scents be clocking out of their shift early. So in order to make them last longer or to make them more present while you wear them, these are the tips and tricks that I use to get the most out of my perfume without just dousing myself in it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, you know what to do. Tap the like and let's get into it. So the first tip is the absolute best tip. I actually learned it many moons ago, back, back in the day when I used to work at Victoria you get and hey when they first told me about this I thought it was just a marketing gimmicky kind of thing because it's layering when I worked at VS they said start off with the body wash the scrub the eau de parfum the toilet and pack the body spray for all day now if you have to put that much stuff on that means nothing is strong enough but what I would say instead if you have something that is very light and delicate but you love the scent of spray it fresh out the shower I find any time when I grab a perfume right after I patted my body dry and moisturized that it binds better to the skin because the skin is receptive to absorbing it the moisture and of course when you lotion your body it acts as a emollient to bind to the perfume if you spray in your dry skin it's just going to aerate it's going to be like dust okay maybe it won't be but it definitely binds way better when it's binding to something if you forget to or you're in a rush or you have something else to do before and you can't put perfume on right away put it on on your lingeries your lingerie anytime i've sprayed my bra or my bralette or even my spirits bra because it's binding to my clothes instead of just my body it lasts longer and with these delicate scents that maybe you won't quite smell into your clothes it's going to be a nice little burst when someone embraces you and they can smell it on your clothes or when you're out throughout the day you don't have to worry about you know you're running a bunch of errands and you're getting really busy and the scent is gone because it's still with you on your clothes I like spraying my lingerie over spraying my clothes because I've had too many situations where I have that little spot or that ring where the perfume was and I just it's a no for me. I'd rather know that my lingerie is where the secret scent is hidden and there's no surprise spots of where I might have misted myself and done the most or the color from a perfume or the alcohol has turned some of the fabric color. Like, just no, just no, just no. My third point, the most important one, I'm sure you know this, but if you don't, you're gonna know today, your pulse points are your best friend. Whether a perfume is strong or weak, you always wanna spray your wrists the inner part of your elbow, if it's summertime, behind your knee, and even your Achilles heel, behind the ear and the neck. These are all pulse points, essentially where you would check your pulse, and that's where the blood is gonna flow and allow the different notes to aerate. This is where you can get the top notes and the mid notes, trust me. Spray your elbow and then spray here, and you're gonna see that it smells different and it also lasts longer here. That's because the warmth from your body and the pulsating of the pulse is gonna allow the aromas to do what's supposed to be done. I love spraying my pulse points, but I also, on top of spraying my lingerie, will spray my decollage and also sometimes even my lack of cleavage, but just in between there, because I feel like it lasts longer there. Wherever your body is giving off heat, it's gonna actually work to activate the aromas in fragrances like these. The fourth tip, similar but different, is, shit, what was it? Similar but different, is to not only spray your pulse points, but to take elements out of a fragrance that you love to make it more potent. So let's use this one over here because I love Killian Princess. Why did they discontinue this? Sephora, I need to speak to you. But the only thing I did not like about Princess is that it would never last. Like by the time I spray this and head to the door, where's the perfume? It is no more. So what I do to make perfumes like this last is I'll Google the notes that are in here and then buy another perfume or an essence, an oil, essential oil that's safe for the body and apply it as the base before I add this. This way, the thing that I love most about this perfume, which is the matcha, is gonna be the most potent part that also helps the perfume bind to your body. You can also do this by mixing and layering other perfumes. Say you have a perfume that's similar, different, 
or compliments well. You spray that first, you spray this on top, trust me, it will last, and that's what you call a signature scent. The last tip is when all else fails, create a cloud, okay? I don't really like this tip, to be honest. I only really do it if I'm in a rush and for whatever reason I need to refresh myself, but I'll spray above me, kind of like in a spiral motion. That way you're creating a tornado of fragrance. It's gonna stick to your hair, it's gonna bind onto your shoulders, it's gonna lightly mist your clothes without staining it. So create a cloud. Essentially, I'm sure you've seen this before, don't do this with perfumes that are strong because then you're gonna be that chick. Wait, actually, let me not judge. If you like coming in strong where the scent comes in the room before you do, if you like it, I love it. But personally, I like my scent to be something you can smell from about arm's length away, and it's not crazy. But if you have a lighter scent, don't be afraid to spray a cloud over your head. The scent will just shower you beautifully, delicately, and it'll last longer on you. Don't do this if maybe it's the first day of getting your hair done and you're not gonna be washing it for a minute because the scent is gonna dry out your hair. The alcohol level in here also, if you're gonna be wearing different perfumes throughout the week and you spray this on top, but you do something completely different for the body, it's like, what's going on? But if you are planning on wearing this, like this is my year round signature scent, so I wouldn't mind doing a cloud of this, especially if my hair is in its natural state, cause I'm gonna wash it out anyway. But more often than not, I'll use the other four tips. This is more like a last ditch effort if I really need to do the most create a cloud. If the perfume comes on too strong, you create the cloud away from you and you step into it. Perfection, trust me, try it next time you have a potent perfume. When the perfume is not giving what it's supposed to, then you spray yourself around yourself and you just allow it to sink into your body. So anyway, those are the five tips I got. If you have another tip, leave it for the community down below or let me know which one you're gonna try first with one of your more delicate fragrances. I hope you guys enjoy this one and until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.